Um, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. It's amazing to see so many students that care about their education because this is not the way that it has to be and this is not the way that it should be. This isn't what education look, should look like. We shouldn't have to sit here in a room, staying in the school overnight, hoping to fix our education. That's not what high school should be about. People really aren't supporting the public schools like people supported Portland Public Schools. People have taken their kids out of public schools and put them into private schools, and they haven't put them back in. And right now, we are at a crossroads. If something isn't done to give stable funding to schools, then we will go the route of Oakland, of St. Louis, of all these other cities throughout the country where people have abandoned the public education and put, put their kids into the private sector. As I picked up the paper Monday, Mr. Fredericks talked to you about this, and I read the headline, which was, Rural Schools Reap Urban Cash, I was very upset. I was very upset because this Oregonian article, which by the way should have been written years ago, tells us that we only get 77 cents for each dollar we put out in urban schools. Okay, Pat, if you guys want to stick around, we will be showing Army of Darkness on the big screen. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys doing this hopefully to, to get some votes for Yes on 28? Um, well, we're doing this as a, for a long-term and stable funding. And I don't think Measure, I, I mean, I think Measure 28 is going to help a lot. It's going to give Portland Public Schools alone $9 million, which is about 10 school days. But um, it's for a greater thing, which is education, a right that we all have. Right now, I don't think there's a whole lot that we can do besides things like this as high school students because, um, we have to face it, high school students aren't really listened to in our society. We're just kind of a demographic to be marketed to. Because, I mean, like, I'm not 18, and most of my friends aren't 18. We can't vote. And I think the most important thing people need to do is, is vote. And, like, Measure 28, like, I really hope that passes, but I know that a lot of people either don't vote or they vote against it, or they don't know all the facts. So. Budget cuts are cutting down our schools, and we're supposed to have a lot less days, and our school might not even be accredited. So we're here to say that we want those hours back and that the students care. So instead of striking and missing more school, we're here to say that we're staying at school and we're going to be here. At first, I, truthfully, at first, I was like, this really sucks, but let's, since I'm a senior, it's not too bad because I just missed some school. We don't really care that much anyways because it's senior year. You're just like, you know, want to get out. But I found out more that they're going to, like, up up the tuition <laughs> with college, and that's really not a good thing because I definitely cannot afford <laughs> to, like, you know, go to a college that's expensive. Then it's even more expensive if we transfer somewhere else to another school. And so I find it, like, a deep hole that's really depressing <laughs> that we have to try to get ourselves out of because like and he was saying that they're gonna cut 60 million in the future and that's like 60 days of school and that is two months and that's just I, something I cannot phantom and the fact that they're gonna cut sports which a lot of kids get scholarships from is I and so I'm here <laughs> fighting because I think that there has to be a solution and it's sad that they're giving money to war and they're not taxing cigarettes as much. Things that kill people and we're trying to save people and add more intelligence to the world and I think that's a lot greater cause. What I just thought about voting, that would be good if, um, if I thought that the present system was the way to go, but I, I don't think that's the way to go and I think we really need to change the way our society works so you know, we have more of a say than like vote representatives who may or may not vote for what you want them to vote for, you know, and actually have more of a democracy. I don't know. It's, um, it's like we're spending all this money on the military or whatever, but what we're protecting, trying to protect, is crumbling from within. Yeah, why does like Oregon have to military? The question is, why are they giving money to the military? Uh, rather than schools, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, you know, part of that's just that is that's it's our process. It is it is the, the political process. Like, I was asking him, I was like, why are they cutting from us and giving to war? And he's like, well, 
they're not going to change it because the you know there's tons of people voting and you have to convince them. But there wasn't that question. There's an answer why. I think that the reason the schools are getting the brunt of these budget cuts is one that like a lot of money from the state does go to schools, but also a lot of money in our society goes to the military. And if school budget cuts were uh, a gymnasium and not school budget cuts were a lamp, we would want a lamp. We're going to go by the rules, just make things easier. Uh, as, for the, as far as the corporate media goes, it's going to make us look a lot better.